now, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from some more Kirk's friends. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Harris. When I grew up in Limerick, in Ireland, I'm a bit nervous, but there we are. You were absolutely my idol, my hero. I, have, I came from a family, I had five brothers, and we used to fight as to who, when we were playing games, who was going to be Kirk Douglas. <laughs> Finally, one day, this hero of mine, I got to play with him in a movie at the beginning of my career. And so I, in a strange way, Confronted with this sort of legend, I thought, well, I should behave like Kirk Douglas, to Kirk Douglas. And so I sort of started battles, neither of which I won, I must tell you. I behaved so badly that he went home to Anne. The legend is, he said, he's the ugliest guy in the block. <laughs> now what happens? Two years later, I got a chance of playing Camelot. And I, I, I sort of, I bombarded Jack Warner and Josh Logan for tests. Give me tests. I kept sending telegrams every day saying, Richard Burton wrong, Harris right, signed Harris. <laughs> Richard Burton too tall for Vanessa Redgrave. Harris six foot two, cast Harris, signed Harris. <laughs> and this went on for four months till finally Josh Logan said, God knows, get him off my back testing. So I finally got the test. And Alan J. Lerner liked it, and Fritz Lowe liked it, and Jack Warner liked it, and Josh Logan liked it. But Logan said, wait a minute, I hear he's tough. I hear he's dreadful to work with. What did he do? Who do you think he called up? This is your secret. <laughs> Who did he call up? A minute, he called Kirk Douglas. What chance did I have to get the part if he called Kirk Douglas? He called Kirk Douglas and, Doug, uh, and Kirk said, is he right for the part? And Logan said, yeah. Kirk said, well, cast him. He said, but will I like him? And Kirk reputedly said, like him. If I had to rely on being cast by everybody who liked me, I'd have never worked. <laughs> and he said, cast him, you love it. So all I can tell you is I want to publicly say this to thank you for that. And you know something? You were a major, you didn't know this, you were a major part of my youth. Major, major part of my youth. And as it turned out now, you were a major, major, major part of my career. If you had said no, don't use him, I would not be here tonight honoring you. <laughs> And I thank you.